Hey Gizmo here, I'm out at Jeff Skinner Wetlands today. This is just a short video. Just have a bit of a look at this place, it's pretty cool. I just came out here today, went for a wander up this trail here and um, took a bit of footage of the wetlands. Yeah, it's really cool. So if you ever get a chance to check this place out, come and have a look. Hi, Gizmo here. Catching butterflies, you got one. Yeah, I come out here today just to have a bit of a sticky beat because I saw it on Google Maps and I wanted to just come around and have a look at this amazing landscape. So I'm nearly there now. It's just on the other side of this tree line just behind me here. When I get through there, I'll show you what it's like. <laughs> so, look at this area. It's like a vast desert in suburbia, right near Wellington Point. This is a giant wetland area, and it's called the Jeff Skinner Reserve. And when you see it from the uh, aerial shots like this, it looks just amazing. And, uh, yeah, I wanted to have a look, a first-hand view for myself. Jeff Skinner Reserve was established in 1888. Thankfully, plans to develop this area were halted by the government of the time, as it's now an important environmental bird haven. And a hundred years later, it eventually would become the Jeff Skinner Reserve, named after the councillor whom fought so hard to preserve this area. Good on him. This vast low-lying plateau is best seen from the air. Migratory shorebirds travel here from between September to April to breed. It's mid-autumn here in Brisbane, so not too many birds of that nature here this time of year. There are no facilities of this reserve. And the reason for this is to keep this reserve as pristine as possible. So if you visit this area, especially during the breeding seasons, remember, tread lightly and observe this rare and mysterious place as it's a truly unique and wonderful place to visit. And I was glad to be able to see it today.
See you later.